Hey, this is Brian Pfeiffer with BachelorVegas.com, and I'm standing here today in front of Wet Republic on a busy Saturday, and uh, Wet Republic, just a little brief history here, has been one of my uh, go-to spots in Las Vegas for probably going on like 12 or 13 years now. Uh, when they first opened, uh, I was the uh, promoter liaison for the Chicago crowd, and they used to send me pictures every week. I used to promote Wet Republic in my emails and put up all their um, best pictures on my website and whatnot, and then ultimately uh, I ended up moving out here to Las Vegas to help open Hakkasan and I was the promotion manager for Wet Republic and Hakkasan in 2013 when uh, Hakkasan first opened. So uh, I was manager here. I worked with them since the day it opened, and I'm still working with them today. So pretty good uh, history with this place, one of my favorite pools. Arguably one of the uh, best pools in Vegas, probably, if not the best, uh, definitely the top one or two or maybe even the top three. Um, you might want to compare it to places like uh, Encore Beach or... Um, potentially Marquee or even IU Day Club now. Helium Beach Club has some potential as well. Um, if you want to go for like an EDM pool party, this is going to be one of your places now. It is a little bit on the pricier side. Uh, good thing the bottles are still around uh, 6 dollars a bottle. Uh, for Grey Goose, I, they might have tacked it up a little bit, but usually around six fifty a bottle for Grey Goose, which is a little bit cheaper than Marquee and a little bit cheaper than Encore Beach. Okay. And uh, they had some great tables here. Uh, as far as like um, selection of tables, um, let's start with the uh, you know the more expensive ones, and we'll go down from there. So, got the bungalows, which are uh, there's the old side bungalows, which there's six on the one side, and then there's the new side bungalows, which are six on that side. Uh, the more desirable bungalows are on the new side, and generally got a tip to get on that side or pay a higher minimum. Okay, usually it gets done uh, for the same minimum as the other side. Uh, then you got the deluxe cabanas. Okay, the deluxe cabanas have uh, been revamped in 2019. Actually, 2019 winter, but opened up to 2019, which was uh, the Cerveza sickness, and they didn't really get to showcase them. But this year is the first year they really have the deluxe cabanas with the pools in front of them. Okay, so now they're almost as good as the bungalows, if not as good. They're not quite as big, um, they don't have quite as much space, but they do have the pools in front of them. Um, at least most of them do. I think there's maybe 12 of them, and I think 10 of them have pools in front of them for the deluxe cabanas. And they're arguably better located in the center of the you know, pool party, basically. Okay, I booked one of those today. My customers are super happy. Um, all right, so those are the uh, the bungalows of the cabanas, and then we got the uh, the the dance floor tables, which are by the DJ. Okay, those are the ones to the right and the left of the DJ. You got the four in the center that are more desirable. You should get a tip to get those. Okay, and then uh, the stage tables are to the right and the left of the DJ. There's four stage tables. Generally, they like to put groups up there that have you know good-looking girls and stuff in them for obvious reasons when they're filming the DJs and whatnot. They want to have pretty girls up there in the, uh, the stage tables. Behind the stage tables are the lounge tables. I think there's eight lounge tables, uh, four to the right, four to the left. And those are really good tables because they're in the shade. Sometimes that's pretty uh, beneficial in the summer months to be in the shade out here because it's 150 degrees. And, uh, you know, in the shade is, is definitely a, a nice thing. And there's a lot of action behind the bar. So if you want to meet girls, you're coming out here to meet girls or guys, and you want a lot of action, those lounge tables are pretty, pretty good. I've always had a good time at those lounge tables. Um, then there's the dance deck tables. Now those are the ones um, on the other side of the pool from the dance floor tables and they actually face the pool. You get a little bit of space on the water. Um, now the pool is community. Okay, It's a, it's a general population pool and um, but the tables are along the water so if you like to be you know, on the water and you want to meet girls or guys um, you know, that are in the pool, you got the table right along the side there which are pretty good. All right, and um, so that's kind of it for the dance floor, the lounge tables, and then the dance deck tables, and then you got your uh, your day beds, if you will. Okay, there's a couple prime day beds on the main pool. Uh, they used to be like 437 and 438, but I think they changed the numbers now. But anyway, those are the ones uh, they typically give to like groups of girls, so they have like hot girls standing by the edge of the pool with uh, those tables. And then they got uh, there used to be day beds behind the dance deck tables, but they since they put the pools in in front of the deluxe cabanas now, there's not enough space so they got like more like couches along that row there and those are considered day beds day bed pricing um, they're not the best tables in my opinion I usually don't um, put my customers there if I can avoid it and um, yeah so they're they're kind of just like average couches and kind of the walkways if you will but they're not bad if you need a table and there's nothing else uh, they'll work for that uh, then you got the day bed kind of row area I call it uh, you got the 180s which are along the um, the smaller pool, uh, the, and then they got the 160s and the 170s, which are along the small pool, all considered prime. Usually got a tip to get along the pool, and then you got the um, the day bed row area, uh, which is where the majority of the day beds are. You can get the front row, which is a pretty good section, or you get the ones um, on the right side, which are also kind of like on the pool uh, deck. So generally there's like, I think, five in the 180s, three in the 170s, three in the 160s, and then like three in day bed row where you can get along the, the small pool, and you got to usually tip to get those uh, 
those tables, but you get, you know, kind of like a little more space and you get the pool right next to it, which is kind of advantageous. So um, that pretty much rounds it out. As far as the pricing goes, it is a little bit on the higher end. They do bring in the like, big DJs. They have like Martin Garrix. Uh, they got Steve Aoki here. Alinium's one of the big hitters now. And, um, you know, they, they definitely have some good DJs. And on those big Saturdays when there's, you know, big events in town and big DJs are going to pay, um, you can go ahead and click below and you'll see the uh, the pricing for, you know, the weekend you're coming and whatnot. I can't really tell you exactly what the pricing is going to be. Um, you know, you're better off just looking to see who the DJ is and what the pricing is uh, on the website here. Or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link below and go over to the website. I have the pricing up there. Uh, now, if some other things that I'll mention here about Wet Republic, uh, make sure you get dropped off at the top golf lot, lot here. Okay, one of the big things that people drop you off at the uh, MGM, it's like a mile and a half long walk over here to Wet Republic. So, very important tip here get dropped off at the top golf lot. Uh, that's a big, big deal. And then uh, also the dress code is very big here. Uh, uh, good old Joe at the front here, my buddy, uh, he's very stringent on the dress code. You have to wear swim shorts and you have to be in swim attire. Okay, if you wear like khaki shorts or jean shorts or any kind of pants, you're not getting in. You got to go home and change. Um, you know, gym shoes are okay, flip flops are okay. Girls obviously bikinis, um, one pieces with a cover up to go into the place, and then you can take that off once you get inside. Girls is easy. The guys is always a problem. No athletic gear, no jerseys. Um, hats are okay, but um, you know, be you know. Just just, just come like you're going to a pool. Okay, that's the most best advice I can give you. Is you gotta come like you're actually going to a pool, not to like a sporting event, if you will. Okay, no jerseys, no khaki shorts, um, no jean shorts, nothing like that. Okay, guys, so just make sure you follow the rules when it comes to dress codes so you don't have any problems getting in. Um, other than that, uh, you know, it, it's pretty smooth here. I obviously work with the, the staff here on a very close level every weekend, so getting in is very easy when you book with me. Uh, walk you right to the front. We usually typically walk right in. There's not really any issues with weight. Uh, there is a guest list and there is a ticket system here as well. So if your uh, tables aren't in the question, you can always go um, you know, to the link below, sign up for the guest list, or click on the link below to get some tickets to the event and uh, still have a great time. Uh, Wet Republic is arguably, like I said, the best pool party out here. Um, I think one of the reasons why it's probably held its own for this many years is is the fact that it's um, it's probably the closest thing in Las Vegas that we have to an actual nightclub outside. Okay, the sound system, the way it's set up, kind of a big rectangle square, the vibe, the dance floor. Uh, it, 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 I would say it's basically like a nightclub outside, and it's the closest thing we have to an actual nightclub outside. Um, Encore is you know pretty decent, and so is IU, and even Marquee. But this this one here is probably my favorite as far as like actual vibe and party. Wet just never lets you down, and one of the reasons why, you know, 12, 13, 14 years later, however long it's been open, uh, it's still kicking. So, um, if you have any questions about Wet Republic, feel free to hit me up on my cell, um, my number 773-459-8133, and I'll be happy to give you a custom quote, and I'll give you the table here that's best for you, and I look forward to working with you at Wet Republic. I'm Brian Pfeiffer. We'll talk to you later. Bye.